In this video, we're going to talk about two more types of data. The first is called discrete data. So discrete data. So the definition of discrete data is that it can be counted. So can be counted. So you can actually count the numbers. You can count the data. So like one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. It could be an infinite number of data or it could be a finite number of data, but you can count it. Now for all practical purposes, like for the purposes of this course, pretty much whole numbers. So if it's a whole number, it's discrete. Most of the time, whole number, discrete. The other type of data is called continuous data. So continuous data. So continuous data, the actual definition is it cannot be counted. So it cannot be counted. And it actually takes on any value in a line interval. Okay, that's, that's the idea, um, or in a range. So you have infinitely many values and you can't count them. So for all practical purposes, uh, for the purposes of this course, it's gonna be pretty simple. So if it's not a whole number, it has a decimal. So if it could have a decimal, we're gonna say it's continuous. And if it's a whole number, we'll say it's discrete. So let's do a couple examples. So discrete or I'll just put Kant, discrete or Kant. Let's see, A, uh, Amy's height in feet, Amy's height in feet. So Amy's height in feet, um, this could be a decimal, right? It's possible Amy could be 4.2 feet high, right? So this is continuous. I'll just put C-O-N-T, so continuous. B, um, the number of ducks in the lake. The number of ducks in the lake. So you can actually count the number of ducks in the lake. So uh, it's it's a whole number, so it would be it would be discrete. So again, for all practical purposes, if it's a whole number and it can only be a whole number, the answer is discrete. If it could be a decimal, the answer is continuous. That's it.